てお待たせいたしました。えっと、それでは本日のプレスブリーフィングを開始いたします。朝鮮半島情勢を中心に、まあ、東アジアをめぐる情勢は大きく動いています、えー、朝鮮半島の感染非核化の行方ですとか拉致問題解決の可能性それからまあ米朝首脳会談のまあ行方そしてまあ中国の動きなどに注目が集まっています。えー、そこで本日は、えー、株式会社日本総合研究所国際戦略研究所の田中仁理事長を招きしまして東アジア情勢と日本外交についてお話を伺います。えー、なお本日の通訳者はサイマルインターナショナルの森岡美紀夫さんです。インタビューションを be provided by ミキオ森岡 of サイマルインターナショナル。最後に皆様には携帯電話をマナーモードにしていただきますようお願いいたします。Finally, we ask you to place your mobile phones into silent mode。えそれでは田中理事長お願いいたします。田中。どうもおはようございます。Good morning。あの私は外務省に長い間いました。だけれどもあの私のお話というのは決してあの日本政府の考え方と同じものではない私の個人的な見方なのでその点はぜひ留意願いたいと思います。I have been with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for long. However,、uh, the opinions I will be delivering do not in any way represent、uh, the Japanese government. It is not exactly、uh, the same as the Japanese government. They are per my personal views, and therefore I'd appreciate if that could be kept in mind. あ北朝鮮をめぐる情勢がどうかということと、もう一つは中国ですね、中国とどういうふうに向き合っていくかという、この2つのことを中心にお話をしたいと思います。Uh, today, I wish to focus on two topics. One is、uh, the situation surrounding DPRK、uh, at a shorter time horizon, and secondly, how we should be approaching China. あの朝鮮半島の問題については私自身1987年に朝鮮半島担当の課長になってそれから朝鮮半島を含むアジア担当の局長を2000年代の初めにやっていましたし外務審官としても朝鮮半島の問題を扱ってきたので実は私はあのこの北朝鮮の核問題が始まった1980年代の後半から一貫して実は見てきたんですね。あの私が北朝鮮がどうも核開発をしているというインテリジェンスのブリーフィングをアメリカから受けた最初の日本人だったんですね。ですからある意味長い期間北朝鮮の核問題をオブザーブしてきたということは言えるかもしれない。Uh, I became the director of the、uh, Korean Peninsula at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs back in 1987, and then、uh, in the 2000s, I was appointed director general for Asia, including the、uh, Korean Peninsula. And even when、uh, I was appointed deputy minister, I continued to deal with the situations over the Korean Peninsula. And therefore,、uh, I've been constantly、uh, observing the situation in DPRK、uh, when we began to obtain. That DPRK might have begun their nuclear program back in the 1980s, the late 1980s. And in fact, I was the first Japanese person that received an intelligent briefing with regards to the possibility of nuclear program in North Korea from the United States. So I've been observing this situation for quite some time now. 
あの今日、北朝鮮の核問題というのは新しいフェーズにあることは間違いがないあのいくつかの新しい点があるわけですけれども一つは北朝鮮が従来と違ってね従来あの核非核化の交渉というのは何回もやってきたわけですが今は北朝鮮がほぼ核弾頭とそれからそれを運搬する弾道ミサイルをほぼ完成した状況にあるということが一つの新しい事実だと思います。Uh, no doubt that we have entered into a new phase with regards to the nuclear issue in DPRK, and there are a few new developments that we are witnessing today.、Uh, unlike the past, and in fact, in the past,、uh, we have experienced a few rounds of negotiations over denuclearization, but we have now entered into a stage where、uh, North Korea now uh, possesses uh, nuclear warheads and、uh, is. Uh, very close to completion in terms of the development of the ballistic missile to deliver those warheads. Possessed to you in Dante Steraka Nakute, Korea, nuclear warhead, dots, Kuru, Hobo, Sai Shu, Tina Danka, and Arti, Mide Mosheta. And uh, I didn't say uh, possess, uh, I meant to say that they are in the final stage of developing nuclear warheads. あのこれまでの非核化交渉って何回もやってきたわけですあの1994年の枠組み合意それからあの私自身が交渉した2002年の小泉訪朝それから2005年の6者協議の合意ですね9月これいずれも非核化ということを念頭において交渉がされてきた。Uh, there have been a few rounds of negotiations over denuclearization in the past. 1994 agreed framework and、uh, the 2002 visit by Prime Minister Koizumi,、uh, which was a project I was personally involved in, and the six party agreement、uh, in September 2005. And all of these negotiations included、uh, negotiations over denuclearization. The, Uh, back then,、uh, yes, DPRK、uh, already had begun their nuclear development program. However, there were no specific signs that their development efforts were close to completion, and it was only in October 2006 that they had begun nuclear testing. And therefore,、uh, the situation we are faced today is completely different from those days. And、uh, currently, we are faced with a situation where they are very close to、uh, possessing. Uh, nuclear power, and that is the context in which denuclearization negotiations have to be done. I know, Korea, Made, no, Hikak, Kosho, do you know this? Ne, a party, Honto, Ni, Shinke, Ni, Kanke, Goka, Muki, Atta, Waki, Jana, Katta, to, Omoimas. The uh, past. Negotiations over nuclearization、uh, were not、uh, the kind of negotiations where there was a true seriousness、uh, and sincerity on the part of the relevant parties. And this time around, I believe this is the first phase where the relevant parties are serious、uh, for the first time. あの北朝鮮を核をめぐる非核化をめぐる交渉に引き出した力っていうのは二つあった。一つは米国の極めて明らかな軍事的圧力である。なぜそんなに軍事的圧力をかけるかというと、初めてアメリカは北朝鮮の核並びにその ICBM に対して自分たちの安全を脅かすものであるという認識がになったわけですね。今まではそうじゃなかった。
I believe that uh, there are uh, two elements uh, that had uh, driven uh, North Korea uh, towards this negotiation of denuclearization. And first of all, the very obvious military pressure by the United States. And why is the United States choosing to uh, so explicitly impose military pressure upon the DPRK? It is because for the first time, United States has recognized its own security threat uh, because of the uh, North Korean nuclear program and ISBM, and that had not been the situation in the past. And the second element is that the economic sanctions with uh, the participation also of uh, China has begun to be effective. And this also derives from the same reason that if North Korea uh, were to truly possess uh, nuclear weapons, then that would be a very significant threat for China's security as well, which uh, was now recognized. で、and what does this signify? It signifies that there is no other choice or no way back. Uh, so far, uh, there had not been a significant or direct threat uh, from a DPRK, but now the United States, China, Japan, as well as uh, the ROK, uh, considers uh, uh, DPRK to be very close to uh, having the nuclear weapons. It is either the resolution of the nuclear issue of DPRK or uh, some military option. No other choice. あの、北朝鮮もそのことを理解していることを期待しますが、それはこれからの彼らの行動移管によると思います。I hope that that is understood by the DPRK. However, uh, we will have to see how they behave. あの、北朝鮮の思惑は一体何かということだと思うんですね。北朝鮮が本当に非核化ということにコミットするだろうか。現実、現実的に北朝鮮が自分たちの政権、リジームサバイバルのために核兵器を開発してきたというときに本当に
そういう融和が進められていくとも思えないだから確かに中国との関係や韓国との関係で北朝鮮にとって地政学的要因は改善されたけれども米朝によって非核化がならないときに決して現実のものとはならないということですねあの絵に描いて持ちになってしまうとだからすべてが今度の米朝首脳会談の結果以下によるということだと思いますね Obviously,、uh, the DPRK is、uh, trying to improve the geopolitical situation to their favor, and that's the attitude they've constantly been taken.、Uh, even in the past, whenever they come out to the international stage, they would first of all approach ROK to create a reconciliatory mood and then、uh, approach the United States and China. And by so doing, they would try to improve the geopolitical situation. To their advantage、uh, by uh, approaching China and、uh, ROK in order to avoid、uh, conflict. Uh, however, uh, in uh, the inter Korean summit that had taken place on the 27th of April between ROK and DPRK,、uh, the Pan Munjong Declaration was announced, which talks about the conciliatory mood between the two Koreas、uh, exchange as well as economic cooperation. But that is not at all premised on the、uh, requirement of denuclearization. However, President Moon says that. Without denuclearization, there cannot be reconciliation.、Uh, so it is true that the BRK might have been able to improve the geopolitical situation to their advantage in its relationship with China and ROK. However, without a true denuclearization agreement between the United States and、uh, DPRK, it would、uh, just end up as a pie in the sky, and therefore all、uh, is underpinned or it all depends on how. The USDPRK summit unfolds. あの一体どういう非核化の合意がありうるかということについてお話をしたいと思います。Like kind of あのアメリカのジョン・ボルトンなどは<笑>リビア方式ということを言いますがあのもちろんリビア方式で北朝鮮合意すればそれに越したことはないがおそらくそうはならない。なぜならないかというと。リビアと北朝鮮の場合核の開発の段階が大きく違うということであの普通に考えても北朝鮮の非核化というのはかなり時間がかかるプロセスにならざるを得ないしあのリビア方式の最大のポイントというのは全ての廃棄が済んだ後経済制裁が解除されるということであったところが北朝鮮の場合には一定のインセンティブを与えないと前は進まないだろうということと。それから非核化自身、物理的にも相当長い時間がかかると思うので、リビア方式では多分ないだろうと思います。Ambassador、uh, John Bolton of the United States h a v e suggested the Libyan style of、uh, denuclearization, but、uh, that would probably not possible,、uh, be possible when it comes to North Korea. Because the stage of nuclear development is quite、uh, starkly different between、uh, the situation back then in Libya versus North Korea today. And if a true denuclearization of North Korea、uh, would occur, that would be an extremely time consuming process. And in the case of Libya,、uh, economic sanctions were、uh, lifted only after the complete abandonment and dismantlement of all of the nuclear weapons. But in the case of North Korea,、uh, without a certain、uh, level of incentive、uh, during the process,、uh, there could not be any progress. And、uh, the process of denuclearization in itself will take much longer time. あの段階的というかどうかは別にして基本的にはいろんなフェーズで、えー、見返りを与えるというのをベースとして考えていかざるを得ないと思います。Uh, putting aside whether、uh, we would call it a phased process or not, I think we have to accept that some kind of reward would have to be given、uh, phase by phase. あの私自身北朝鮮と交渉した時に
あの特に2002年9月17日の小泉訪朝の時もそうでしたがあの、まあ、いろんなことを議論されたわけだけどねその中でやっぱり金正日当時の国防委員長ですねヘッドがアメリカに対する不信感というのは極めて明確なものがあったあのこれはための議論かもしれないがやっぱり米国を信用することができないという北朝鮮の意識というのは非常に強いものがあると思うんですねですから多分彼らは今非核化の意思はあると思うだけどもしも米国があるいは国際社会が北朝鮮に十分なインセンティブすなわちそれが体制の保障というものにつながっていくインセンティブを与えないという時にはいつでも戻るという体制を作ろうとするんじゃないかと彼らは作ろうとするんじゃないかというふうに思います。Uh, I was、uh, personally involved in the negotiations with、uh, North Korea, for example,、uh, for the visit by then Prime Minister Koizumi in September 2002. And back then,、uh, several issues were discussed, but it was very obvious that the then、uh, chairman of the Defense Commission,、uh, Chairman Kim Jong il,、uh, had very deep distrust against the United States. And I believe that there is a very deeply rooted、uh, feeling within、uh, the North Koreans. That、uh, US is not worthy of trust. And I、uh, believe that there is some intention on the part of DPRK to proceed with、uh, denuclearization. But if the United States or the global community is not ready to provide sufficient incentive to DPRK in the form of assurance of regime survival, they will probably try to prepare a system where they can、uh, back off to the、uh, current situation. No, no, no. 逆のことも正しくて我々が北朝鮮を信用しているわけでは全くないしたがって北朝鮮がもし核開発の道へ戻るんであれば我々がやることはまた極めて厳しい経済制裁と軍事的な圧力に戻るということなのでねそれは基本的にはお互い様であるというふうに思います。And the reverse is also true.、Uh, we don't necessarily trust North Korea at all. And therefore, if they are going to revert to the、uh, original pathway of nuclear development program, then our choice would be uh, uh, also returning to extremely stringent economic sanctions and military pressure. So the situation is mutual. So, 仮にその米朝の首脳会談が行われるとすればその合意っていうのはですね一つは北朝鮮の核放棄に向けての意思を明確に示すものであることそして核放棄の意思を具体的に表すような行動を伴ったものであることそれから実際の核放棄自身は時間がかかるかもしれないがその都度物事をそのチェックしていけるシステムを作るということだと思います。USDPRK summit meeting,、uh, and if there is to be an agreement as a result of the summit meeting,、uh, what are the important elements that need to be included in such an agreement?、Uh, first of all, there has to be explicit demonstration of the will on the part of the、uh, North Koreans to abandon their nuclear program, and that will of DPRK、uh, must be manifested in specific action、uh, to be taken by the DPRK. And the abandonment and dismantlement of the、uh, nuclear weapons will take time, but there has to be an agreement to establish a system where there would be、uh, various checkpoints in the milestone. The building 検証するということですね。この二つが最初の段階で担保されることが必要であると思います。
then, uh, what would uh, entail such specific behavior or action? Uh, for example, uh, there has to be declaration by North Korea on their nuclear inventory, uh, all their nuclear facilities, including warheads, and then uh, there has to be inspection by the IAEA based upon North Korea's declaration. And those two elements will have to be ensured at the very outset. あの、私のもう一つの大きな懸念、最初の懸念というのは北朝鮮の意図がどこにあるかということ、これについては非常にアンサーティンティ、あの、不確かなことがあると思うけれども、もう一つの大きなリスクリスクというか懸念はね、や
If the U.S.-North uh, Korean summit were to be held without sufficient preparations and uh, ending up in major failure, then uh, that is going to be a huge cost, which will have to be borne by all of the region, uh, all of the countries in this region. というあの、ディスマッティングオフディニュークリアマテリアルズフロムノースコリアウィルビエクストリームリータイムコンシューミングアンデイスドアポンダットプレゼンプションダットプレゼンプレゼンプレゼンプレゼンプレゼンプレゼ
a backstage channel, but uh, at any rate, some kind of communication channel uh, must be laid down. And uh, that is why I suggest that Japan pursue this P3C strategy, and I also hope that the other countries uh, do so as well. Uh, next, I would like to take up the more mid to long range challenge of how we approach China. あの、この東アジアの過去の歴史を見れば、過去 if we look up, uh, look back the uh, history, approximately 150 years of history of the East Asian region, uh, fundamentally the regional peace and stability had uh, been defined based upon the interrelationship between uh, United States, China, and Japan. Yeah, ああ、まさに近代化の道を歩んでいった。凄まじい勢力で台頭した。それが そして1972年第2回目の日中戦争から40年経った。1972年に日中国交の正常化をした。そしてその国交正常化から中国が日本をGDPで追い越したのは2010年ですが、多分その40年っていうのは日本にとって最も地政学的な条件が有利な時代であったわけですね。え、そして今この時点で中国の目標は
中国がより大きくなっていくプロセスの中でこれまでの秩序の破壊者となっていく可能性がないかということなんですね。で私は中国はあの非常に早い勢いで台頭してきたのはこれまでの、まあ、アメリカが中心で作ったリベラルな秩序を活用して中国は大きくなっていったと思う。しかしながら中国がより大きくなっていくプロセスの中でその秩序の破壊者として進んでいくのではないかそれに対する懸念は非常に私は大きい。Uh, first of all,、uh, as China becomes an even larger power, my concern is that whether they would not become a destroyer, destructor of the conventional order.、Uh, so far, I believe the reason behind the rise of China was the fact that they had、uh, made use of the liberal order that was established、uh, with the United States at the center. However, as China becomes an even larger nation,、uh, my concern would be whether they would become a destroyer of the conventional order. すでにその懸念はね、中国の国内にもある、そのこれまで5年前に比べて、中国の国内の締め付けっていうのは圧倒的に強くなってきてます。そして、中国の経済運営の仕方も、より共産党が介入をしていくという方向で行動が捉えている。でもちろん習近平国家主席は改革開放路線を継続するということを言うけれども果たして本当にオープンな体制の中で中国の経済が発展していくことになるかどうかやっぱり政治的な締め付けと相入れないことになるんではないかという懸念があるということですね。というか対外的にもやっぱり非常にアグレッシブなあの一帯一路の警戒にしても極めて請求にその影響力の拡大を図っていく。南シナ海での行動もねやっぱり外から見ればアグレッシブに見えるということですねだから懸念非常に大きな懸念がある。And、uh, that concern、uh, is also reflected in what's happening within China. In comparison to five years ago,、uh, the political control、uh, within China has become extremely strong. And even in economic management, the Chinese co-、uh, Communist Party is、uh, intervening in a more aggressive manner. Uh, and although President Xi、uh, has declared that they will continue with the reform and open up policy,、uh, does, uh, do they really have the intention、uh, to open up? And wouldn't they eventually、uh, reach a paradoxical stage、uh, where there is a contradiction between the political control、uh, versus the opening up policy? And that is demonstrated in how they are implementing the Belt and Road policy, and they are,、uh, they appear to be、uh, at a very fast place、uh, trying to、uh, enlarge their sphere of influence. And even in the South China Sea,、uh, if we look at the situation from the outside,、uh, what they are doing and the, their behavior appears to be extremely aggressive. And this gives me a significant concern. もう一つの大きな懸念は残念ながら米国なんですね。Concern, あの例えばアメリカのね昨年の暮れに発出されたアメリカの国家安全保障戦略の中には中国やロシアはリビジョニストであると秩序の修正者であるということが書かれているが実はトランプ政権のこれまでを見ればトランプ政権自身がこれまでの秩序の破壊者としての行動を取ってきているのではないかという懸念を持つわけですね。Uh, for example,、uh, in the national security strategy announced by the US late last year,、uh, they referred to China and Russia as revisionists. But if we look at what the Trump administration itself had done to date, we are concerned that the administration in itself is becoming a destroyer of the conventional order. あの具体的な申しことを申,申し上げるときりがないけどね、例えばパリの合意からの撤退であるとか、TPP からの撤退であるとか、アパラントな今、あの明らかな保護主義に向けての、まあ、アメリカファーストっていうのは、結果的に保護主義につながる外然性がものすごく高いと思うんですね。ですから、そういうことであるとか
ジェルサレムのへの大使館の移転であるとかイランの核合意からの撤退であるとかあのやっぱりリベラルのオーダーをより強化しようと思って作られていくものからの撤退をしていくということがやっぱり国際社会にとってみればね極めて懸念を深める材料になっているということだと思うんですね。Uh, there are endless examples,、uh, if I begin to list them、uh, withdrawal from the Paris Agreement,、uh, withdrawal from uh, TPP uh, and protectionism.、Uh, America's first policy, in the end,、uh, has a high probability that they would be taking、uh, protectionist measures,、uh, moving their embassy to Jerusalem and stepping out of the Iranian nuclear deal. Uh, what all of these、uh, institutions and regimes were things that、uh, we had tried to create in order to reinforce the liberal order from which the United States uh, is uh, stepping out, and、uh, that gives the global community a deep concern. So, if that's the only thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Based upon those two major concerns,、uh, there is clearly a role that Japan ought to play. いろんな働きかけをやっていくことだと思う。It is said that、uh, Prime Minister Abe and President Trump are close friends, and several summit meetings have been held.、Uh, so, one clear role that Japan can play in East Asia is to approach the United States so that the United States could become a constructive stakeholder in East Asia. トランプ大統領というのは何かやる前にテコを作ろうとする要するに取引の手法というのはテコを持ってそのテコを引くことによって結果を作ろうというアプローチだと思うんですけどねこれまで全てのこと米中の貿易摩擦にしても一生懸命テコを作りですねそのテコを材料にして有利な結果を作ろうとしていると思うんですがあの単に日本がね米国に対して米国が建設的なステークホーダーであるべきだという単に議論をしてもあんまり意味がないのかもしれないですね。やっぱり日本はそれなりのことをアジアでやっていく必要があると思うんですね。要するにアジアでテコを作っていかなきゃいけないということだと私は思う。In everything he does,、uh, President uh, Trump uh, tries to use the lever or leverage in striking deals, be it、uh, US China trade friction. He always tries to、uh, use leverage in order to、uh, bring about、uh, an outcome that is to、uh, his advantage. So, just、uh, trying to tell the United States that it ought to become a constructive stakeholder in East Asia may not be so meaningful.、Uh, so, Japan ought to、uh, actually do something that will create a lever in Asia. Fortunately, the Sino Japanese relationship, although it also depends on the behavior of the United States taken so far, is、uh, trending towards improvement. I think that TPP 11というものを積極的にこの地域の中国や韓国を入れる。よりその大きな枠組みしていくということについて日本は旗を振るべきだと思うし RCEP という東アジアの経済連携協定について中国の協力を得て前に進めていくこれはアメリカに対する大きなてこになるというふうに思います。And in this context,、uh, I believe that Japan should be the flag bearer to call upon China and ROK for their engagement in TPP 11 and also in the, concept,、uh, in the context of RCEP in Asia.、Uh, Japan should try to、uh, make this go forward by gaining cooperation、uh, 
of China. Uh, and by so doing so, Japan should try to create uh, leverage uh, against the United States. あの、Regionalism nor uh, multilateralism uh, uh, seem uh, not to uh, gain the interest of the United States. But just because the United States hasn't shown interest to regional, uh, regionalism and multilateralism, that does not mean that we should abandon uh, those concepts. And rather, I believe that Japan should make more efforts in order to expand regional, regionalism uh, in East Asia, especially in such areas as environmental cooperation or energy-related cooperation, uh, and use that as a lever to make United States come back to East Asia as a constructive stakeholder. あの、in the area of security, uh, there is no uh, replacement to the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty. That had always been the case in the past, and that will continue to be the case. And I strongly believe that the Japanese-U.S. Security Treaty is the public goods for stability in this region. Uh, and within that uh, U.S.-Japan Security uh, Alliance framework, the role to be played by Japan ought to be expanded. But again, uh, there is no replacement to the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty. But this is a non-traditional and non-traditional cooperation. For example, the 反テロであるとか、海洋の安全 中国で在り続けることだと思うんですね。これは中国の経済のためにも社会の発展のためにも必要なことだしね。あの、そのためにはね、地域において枠組みを作り、そこで協力を拡大していくという考え方が中国も積極的にの考え方が中国も積極的に
And to that extent, I believe that the uh, creation of regional framework within this region ought to be expanding, and I believe that China should be more aggressively participating in those endeavors. あの、私も喋ってるのは今のような聞こえ、トランプさんっていうのはやっぱりあの普通の大統領じゃないですよね。あの、我々もそれ大きな懸念を持つわけだけれども、まあそういうことをまあ一つのオポチュニティと考えて
Regime a guarantee is a very abstract concept, and therefore uh, there's not one element that we can pinpoint to uh, that would guarantee uh, the regime survival. あの、だけど、これまでいろんなことが議論されてきたという観点から申し上げると、一つは米国による それから将来的には経済協力であり技術協力であるということだと思います。ですからバラエティいろんなその体制保障につながる要素っていうのはあると思います。一つこれだけやればいいというものではない。Uh, however, uh, there have been uh, various uh, elements that have been discussed so far as means to uh, ensure regime survival. For example, the United uh, States uh, negative security assurance, in other words, the U.S. committing not to strike uh, North Korea. And uh, secondly, the current armistice uh, being replaced with a peace treaty, and then the normalization of U.S.-North Korean relations and normalization of uh, Japan-North uh, Korean relations. Uh, and, and when I say normalization, that has to be underpinned uh, uh, by a legal foundation. It has to be a legal interstate relationship. And then, uh, futuristically, there could be economic and technical cooperation. So there are uh, a variety of elements that would lead to regime survival, and there is no one single element that can ensure uh, that kind of uh, uh, outcome. という